Environment E, Health H, and Safety S, together EHS, is a discipline and specialty that studies and implements practical aspects of environmental protection and safety at work. In simple terms it is what organizations must do to make sure that their activities do not cause harm to anyone. Commonly, quality, quality assurance and quality control, is adjoined to form the company division known as HSQE. From a safety standpoint, it involves creating organized efforts and procedures for identifying workplace hazards and reducing accidents and exposure to harmful situations and substances. It also includes training of personnel in accident prevention, accident response, emergency preparedness, and use of protective clothing and equipment. Better health at its heart, should have the development of safe, high-quality, and environmentally friendly processes, working practices and systemic activities that prevent or reduce the risk of harm to people in general, operators, or patients. From an environmental standpoint, it involves creating a systematic approach to complying with environmental regulations, such as managing waste or air emissions all the way to helping sites reduce the company's carbon footprint. Regulatory requirements play an important role in EHS discipline and EHS managers must identify and understand relevant EHS regulations, the implications of which must be communicated to executive management so the company can implement suitable measures. Organizations based in the United States are subject to EHS regulations in the Code of Federal Regulations, particularly CFR 29, 40, and 49. Still, EHS management is not limited to legal compliance and companies should be encouraged to do more than is required by law, if appropriate. Other names Notwithstanding the individual importance of these attributes, the various institutions, authors have accented on the acronyms differently. VIZ and successful HSE programs also include measures to address ergonomics, air quality, and other aspects of workplace safety that could affect the health and well-being of employees and the overall community. Another researcher transformed it as she in 1996, while exploring the concept of human quality in terms of living standards that must follow later than the health, as per the paradigm of SHEQ, raising up the importance of environment up to the safety of people as a prime consideration. It is because safety first is called in for the commitment to transform the safety culture of countries, quality as fitness for purpose, and without which each and every endeavor will be futile. Besides ESH, SHE, HSE, SHEQ, a few more are also in vogue. Topic. Regulatory agencies Topic United States Federal, International Occupational Safety and Health Administration OSHA, Environmental Protection Agency EPA, Nuclear Regulatory Commission NRC, Mining Safety and Health Administration MSHA, etc. European Union EU Standards Health and Safety at Work Act State Safety and Health Council of North Carolina, Massachusetts Nuclear Regulatory Commission, etc. Local Municipal Fire Departments Building Code Inspections Environmental Management Agency EMA Topic General Categories EHS guidelines cover categories specific to each industry as well as those that are general to most industry sectors Examples of general categories and subcategories are Topic. Specific categories Topic. History The chemical industry introduced the first formal EHS management approach in 1985 as a reaction to several catastrophic accidents like the Cervasa disaster of July 1976 and the Bhopal disaster of December 1984. This worldwide voluntary initiative, called Responsible Care, 
started by the Chemistry Industry Association of Canada formerly the Canadian Chemical Producers Association, CCPA, operates in about 50 countries, with central coordination provided by the International Council of Chemical Associations ICCA. It involves eight fundamental features which ensure plant and product safety, occupational health and environmental protection, but which also try to demonstrate by image-building campaigns that the chemical industry acts in a responsible manner. Being an initiative of the ICCA, it is restricted to the chemical industry. Since the 1990s, general approaches to EHS management that may fit any type of organization have appeared in international standards such as the Valdez principles, that have been formulated to guide and evaluate corporate conduct towards the environment. The Eco-Management and Audit Scheme EMAS, developed by the European Commission in 1993. ISO 14001 for Environmental Management in 1996. ISO 45001 for Occupational Health and Safety Management in 2018, preceded by OHSAS 18001 1999 In 1998 the International Finance Corporation established EHS guidelines. Supporting the initiative, Tharea concluded that over-exploitation of mineral resources has made auto-repairing of environment, society system more difficult. For rejuvenation. He emphasized three stages defined by AUM beginning from alignment for SHEQ safety, health, environment, quality, utilization for new efficiencies or products and metamorphosis for new awakening at cultural level. He argued mostly teachers worked at utilization and failed to stand to SHEQ and social system requirements. Topic. Example. As a typical example, the activities of a health, safety and environment HSE working group might focus on exchange of know-how regarding health, safety and environmental aspects of a material, promotion of good working practices, such as post-use material collection for recycling. Topic Publications Occupational Safety and Health Administration United States American Society of Safety Engineers Canadian Centre for Occupational Health and Safety CCOHS EHS Today Safety Plus Health Magazine National Safety Council Environmental Leader EU OSHA ISHN NIOSH OHNS Topic See also Occupational Safety and Health National Safety Council Robert W. Campbell Award, an award for business excellence through EHS management. Safety Engineering